This video is brought to you by my book, which can be found on Amazon or foldableflight.com. Links in the description below. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to fold three amazing paper airplanes that all fly really far and they're all relatively easy to fold. Now these two you might recognize from existing videos on my channel, but this one is entirely new to this video, so at least check that one out. But really, all three of these are well worth a fold. If you're interested in learning how to fold hammerhead, be sure to check out the video I just posted to Power Up Toys today by clicking that card in the top right corner. And with that out of the way, let me show you these three planes in flight and then I'll teach you how to fold them. All you will need in order to fold arrowhead is an eight and a half by 11 or A4 sheet of paper. And we'll begin by folding this right edge to the left edge. And we'll go ahead and open that up. And we want to fold this top edge down so that we're making a bar that's about one inch long or thick, and any approximation is good enough. It doesn't have to be precise. We'll go ahead and flip that back over and now fold this into the center. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay, and your paper should look like this. And now we wanna fold this whole top section down like so. And fold this point back up to the top. Like so. And now we'll go ahead and flip this over. And I want to fold this top edge into the center. And I'll do the same thing on this side. And I'm actually going to open up both of those folds. And now I want to fold this edge to that crease. And I'll do the same thing on this side. And now I can fold both of those in like so. And next we want to kind of pick up our plane and you can see we've got this tab behind here and a pocket and we want to fit this point into that pocket. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna kind of bend, use your thumb to push and bend this point. And you wanna aim off center. If you aim in the middle, you're very likely to tear your pocket. So aim off center and just slide that nose right in under that layer and then let the plane kind of self-correct as you feed those layers inside. And then you're gonna to wanna to flip it over and kind of smooth this out here to make sure your layers kind of become a bit tidier, not bubbling as much. And your plane should look like this and we'll go ahead and just fold it in half like so. Now we're gonna just fold the wings. So just fold this edge here to that edge there. Go ahead and do the other side. And there you go, this is a finished arrowhead. Be sure to angle your wings upward slightly and then also bend the back edges of your wings up just a little bit, giving it up elevator, which is gonna help keep your plane from diving. 
The F-15 jet was designed by Joshua Doors of the Origami Aviator, so be sure to click that card in the top right corner to find more amazing paper airplane content. In order to fold this F-15 jet, you're going to need both an 8.5 by 11 inch sheet of paper and a pair of scissors. So with that, we will begin by folding this right edge to the left edge. And while we have it like this, we can go ahead and fold this top edge here to our folded edge, making a nice triangle. And I'll flip it over and do the same thing on this side. And I'll go ahead and open my plane up into this orientation. Next step is just to fold this top point all the way to the bottom. And now we want to go ahead and fold this top point back up and I'll show you right where you want to crease. Basically reveal these top triangles and you want your crease to be right across the bottom of those. and try to make sure that your creases line up on this side as well, and you can press it all flat. We're actually gonna go ahead and unfold back into this orientation. And next we wanna fold this here to the center crease, but you're not gonna crease all the way down the sheet of paper. You just want to crease right up until you hit, you can see this diagonal crease right there, that's where you wanna stop your crease, so you can see I just crease to that point. I'll do the same thing on this side. Just creasing to this point right there. And I'll open that back up. And now I'll fold down on that crease, back up on this crease, and we are ready for the next step, which is definitely the trickiest step here. Basically, we wanna perform what's called a swivel fold. And we're gonna fold in using this existing crease. And you can see it creates this pocket in the paper. And basically we want to stick our finger into this pocket and force it all the way open right to that point there that my left hand is pointing at. And then you can kind of flatten and fan out this side of the paper, kind of like so, and just flatten it. And you're kind of, your limit is going to be how far can you pull it that way, it's gonna catch right on that corner there, and then you can flatten. I'll do the same thing on this side. So again, I'm just pulling this all the way closed, and that is going to mean I have a pocket here that I'm kind of forcing open. You can see it, it doesn't start all the way open right there. I want it to open up all the way to that point, and then I can start to kind of flatten it and I'm looking to flatten and create my edge going straight to that point. So there we go. And I'll go ahead and flatten this side as well. And your plane should look like this. The next step is to go ahead and uh, open this up and pull that inner layer out and then fold on this existing crease to put it onto that side there. And we're just gonna open this up and you grab that layer out and fold it in the opposite direction. And we'll fold this in like so, and this side in like so. And now I wanna fold this bottom edge here and I'm gonna go ahead and fold it and then I'll explain to you exactly how I decided how far I wanted to fold it up. So you can see that's the crease I made. What I wanted to do is I landed this edge here right on the intersection of this edge and this vertical crease that exists right there. So that is my reference point. I'm folding this edge to land right there. And that is my crease. I'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay, 
and your plane should look like this. Next, we just want to reverse these creases we just made. I'm going to actually rotate the plane 100 or yeah, 180 degrees as I do that. And I want to kind of smooth out this section. This thick section is going to be the hard part to reverse and just start bending it in the opposite direction under those other layers. So we want that to be the bottom layer of all this. We'll do the same thing on the other side here. This is the part you're gonna have to focus on right there. Really work on that and the rest will follow pretty easily. So there you go. And now I'm going to go ahead and fold this here to land on our center crease. And you can see, I wanna land it on the center crease in such a way that the crease goes right to this point where this flap catches on this edge here. So I'll fold something like that. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side as well. Okay. So your plane should look like this. The next step, sorry, I'm just trying to work out this little kink in there. Okay, the next step is we're going to be closing the whole model. But as we do that, you can see I have a tab here on one of these, on both, you can decide to use either one. And I wanna basically slide this tab behind into this pocket on the other side, and that's gonna lock our plane together. So if I just, as I close, tuck that in, does that make sense? I'm closing it up like so. And you can see I'm folded in half, but now my plane wants to lock together. And while we have the plane in this orientation now, we're going to line up our back corners here, make sure those are nicely lined, and just hold our plane like this, and grab our scissors, because we're going to now cut those really cool fins that are on this plane. Basically, I just wanna start about an inch from this back corner and cut diagonally in like so. You can see that's what, an inch and a half to a little less than two inches maybe. And then I cut straight in from the edge to that point. And there you go, get rid of those triangles that fall and now we are ready to go ahead and fold the wings of our plane. So we're just folding this here to the bottom edge. This front section kind of guides the angle we're creasing on and you can let this portion of the wing go past the edge. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. And our last step now is to fold our fins, the rear fins up. And what we wanna do is create a crease from this point here to the back edge that runs parallel to this edge of the paper. And that's just gonna be an estimation, but something like that. And I'll flip it over and fold this side to match my other side. So I'm just trying to land this on that corner there. And now I can open this all up and set my fins to be vertical, my wings angled slightly upwards in kind of a Y shape. And this is going to fly so well for you. This is an F-15, beautiful jet. Good luck flying. All you will need in order to fold dagger is an eight and a half by 11 inch sheet of paper. And we will begin by folding this right edge to the left edge. And while we have the paper in this orientation with this as our folded edge, we want to fold from this corner here to that corner. And that's a little bit tricky, but if you pull this top edge until it kind of catches on that top corner, that's gonna give you an anchor where then you can kind of swivel this whole thing and aim it right towards that corner. And you can kind of just work those into place and then crease the full length of the fold like so. And we'll go ahead and do the same thing on the other side, this time just trying to match our first fold, even if we didn't get that perfectly the first time.
Okay, and now we'll go ahead and open the paper up and you can open one side up and leave the other side down. And we wanna fold the portion that goes across the center crease back across the center crease. And we wanna land the new crease we're making on the center crease. Like so. And we'll do the same thing on the other side, laying that down and then folding back across. And your plane should look like this. Next, we're going to note this point here where this edge and this edge intersect that center point or center crease. And we're going to fold this down on this side. And we want the horizontal crease that we're going to make to go straight through that intersection here on this side. But we're not gonna crease all the way yet. We just wanna tack that point where this flap is meeting our top edge. And then we're going to flip over and make sure that our center crease on this layer lines up with our center crease on that layer. And that's gonna make sure our plane stays symmetrical. And then you can kind of pull that into place, make sure everything's lined up and crease all the way across like so. And then we'll go ahead and actually just open it back up into this orientation here. And you can see this is an easy crease for us to kind of pinch and grab. And we're going to pull it down and we want to land this corner right here on this edge, land our center crease on this center crease and this corner on that edge. Those are your three references as you make this next crease. Like so. And we'll go ahead and open it back up into this position. And I'm going to flip this to the other side. And what I wanna do now is fold this edge here to our center crease. And I'm only going to crease until I get to this line. So you can see as I pull this and kind of get it lined up, I'm going to start just right here and crease towards the top edge because I don't want to go past this point when I'm creasing. And then I'll flip this to the other side, flip this to the other side and do the same thing here, this edge to the center. Again, I'm not going to crease all the way down this one. I'm just creasing to this point right here. And then I'll open that up and position our plane like this. Now I'm going to fold on this bottom crease, fold up on the top crease. And now I'll push this to the other side. And I wanna do what's called the swivel fold. Now this is a pretty tricky fold. We're going to use the existing crease we have here to pull this in. And you can see it's gonna make a pocket here. And really there are two sides of this pocket, one here and one there. And this one's gonna be the one that wants to be open, but we need to use our thumb, use a finger to force this side open. And you want it to catch all the way to this point right here. So you can kind of see that point is the intersection of this edge and that edge. That's where we're opening the whole thing up to. And then you can swivel it open like so, so that you get a tight pull between this point and that point. And then you can crease that and that dictates kind of what the angle change from here to here is going to be. And you can just crease the full wing out like so. And now we'll go ahead and push this back to this side and do the same thing on the other side. So I'm folding in here. This side wants to be open, but actually I want this side of the pocket to be the one that opens up. And then I pull out like so swiveling outwards until I can crease that and crease that. Okay, and now I'll push this back to the other side. The next crease I'm going to make is by pulling this over here. And I want to basically make a crease that lands on this edge. So I'm basically pulling the paper just until I see that edge and I make my crease right on top of it. So you can see my edge is landing on the outer edge of the profile of the plane there. And now I'm going to go ahead and fold back across the center 
and land my next crease on the center crease. And I'll fold back one more time and land this crease on that outer edge, like so. And I will open this up and leave it in this position. Now I'm going to go ahead and do all of those things on the other side as well. So I'm folding this, landing my crease on this outer edge, folding back across the center, landing my crease on the center, and then fold back, landing this crease on that outer edge. And you can see now, we've basically positioned ourselves so that this can all fit, fit within the profile of our plane. But what we want to do is we're going to be tucking some layers into these inner pockets. And so we actually want to, we don't want to reverse this crease here, but the one after it, we want that to fold in the opposite direction. And then this outer one is also going to need to fold in the opposite direction. And now I can kind of open this pocket up fold the whole thing in like so, and tuck these layers into the plane. And you can see I have a portion that sticks out. I'm going to gently open the other side and let that cross the center into the other side. Now I'm going to open this up and I want to reverse this crease here and reverse this crease here. So you can see there's my kind of crease pattern, valley here, mountain there. And I'm going to fold in and tuck these into this side, like so. And now this portion wants to cross the center. I'm going to allow it to go into that right side pocket. And our plane should now be really nice and tidy like this. And you can see we've got these loose flaps still. You can tuck one flap into this little pocket and one flap into this little pocket. And this is going to hold our plane together very nicely. All the layers should be locked together now. And now we're going to go ahead and fold the plane in half. You will have to make a new crease here towards the top because of those portions that crossed our center crease. And we now want to fold the wings. And what we're going to do to fold the wings is we're going to fold this edge here to this edge. And this is a little tough too, because it's a thick bunch of paper and narrow crease. And you basically this wide portion of the wing is gonna go way past the bottom edge, but you want to land this long narrow section right on the bottom edge of your paper if you can. And this is very hard to do without getting some wrinkles in your plane. Um, it's just thick and narrow and, and that's really okay. You're not going to get a perfectly clean fold, but do as well as you can, of course. Your plane's still going to fly well, even if this isn't perfect. So once I've done that, I'll go ahead and flip it over and fold the other side to match. Try really hard to line up these corners here. That's of course if you've maintained symmetry up to this point. I know that's a challenge sometimes. And we will put our plane down in this orientation. Kind of smooth this all out. And now we just want to fold some outer fins. And we're going to fold them parallel to the center crease and right through this intersection of this layer and this layer. So I'll fold one, just kind of estimating as best I can what is parallel to that center crease. And once you do one side, you'll want to hold your plane in this position, flip it over and fold the other side to hit again, land the corner on the corner to make sure that your fins are the same size. And orientation. So. There you go, this is a finished dagger, which is just such a striking plane. I mean, it's got these really cool aesthetic to it, and it's gonna fly really well for you too. So I wish you the best of luck as you go flying.